Greetings folks, I'm Guy Allen from Unique Cars Magazine. This of course is Mark Higgins. Higo, good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you, and you? Good, very good. We're at a Shannon's auction. There's, um, there's a lot going on here. I, I'd love the thing you're leaning up against. Tell me about it. It's the Poverty Pack Monaro. It is a 161, three on the tree, drum brakes all round, no heater, old Monaro. None of that frippery, right? You go in, you yeah. buy a car, yeah. no messing around. No. Oh, would you like some options, sir? No. <laughs> what about... No. And that, no. <laughs> I would have loved to have met the person who, who bought this originally. Absolutely. And yeah. what have they estimated that? What have we got? 90 to 100. 90 to 110. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Well, that wasn't a bad investment over time, no. was it? No. I mean, <laughs> you could have bought your GTS and, and done well out of it. Yeah. But this but is such go. a rare car. Yeah, it, it is really now. Is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A six, three on the tree. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, look, there's lots of auction favourites that we've come to expect with yes. Shannon's. Uh, I have to highlight just very quickly, there's some really interesting out there stuff. There is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, two Tatras. If you see one Tatra in an auction, that's a special occasion. Two is unbelievable. Okay. Um, we've got a little Mesher Schmidt there, and in case you think bubble cars are cheap, think again, Mesher. Now, that's going to be a valuable car. It is. Uh, there's lots of, oh, yes, that's right, a Hino Contessa. Have you ever seen one? No. I don't think I have either. No, I don't so this think is I this have. is the first of those of us. Absolutely. So and that it, look it keeps on going. There's some unbelievable vintage cars in there. One of my favourites, I have to say, is a uh, late thirties, mid to late thirties Packard. Okay. And it's the big Packard. Right. Uh, and it just is just handsome on wheels. Okay. It's just fantastic. <laughs> Can't afford it like a telephone number <laughs> figure, but if, if only. Mm. Um, in the meantime, let's go and have a look at some toys that we've identified as favourites. Okay, done. So, here you go. Yes. Um, your first choice, yes. family favourite. I actually remember these when they were new. And they were, I had a Mayhu ball one, and these were a little rocket ship. So oh, tell yes. me about it. Oh, these are the Ducks Guts. <laughs> and, and for anyone who remembers Pommy TV shows in the 1980s, you'll remember the Ford RS2000 Escort. The guys in the professionals, Bodie and Doyle, yeah, they always drove one. Right. Um, yep. Probably they were in, featured in later editions with the Sweeney, but basically they were either driven by the cops or the villains yep. in every Pommy TV show or Excellent. movie made. Yep. You know? yep. Ford RS2000. As you say, um, they are great little rocket ship at the time. This is a two-door one. Now in Australia, you can get a four-door and a two-door, whereas in other parts of the world, you can only get a two-door version. So it's a 1980 model, so one of the very last ones. It's a one-owner car. Mm, okay. Wow. And it's done 92,000 kilometres. Oh, okay. So it's, um, okay. it's a rare bird. Um, it's even got the original dealer sticker of still wow. on the back okay. window. So you'd leave it alone, wouldn't you? Well, you would. And, yeah. and, and if you look at it inside and out, you would leave it alone. Right. You know, okay. it's got the signature different wheels. It's got yeah. the three-spoke steering wheel in it, the shield seats, the shovel nose, the quad headlights, the stickers. Like um, the estimate's forty to fifty. Forty to sixty thousand. Forty to sixty. Okay, so you've got this little bit of a love-hate relationship with E-Class Benzes. It's mostly love. You've owned yeah, one, absolutely. which which gave you all sorts of dramas, but. We've, uh, we've both owned a string of Benzers. We yes. do actually like them. Love them. Uh, particularly this sort of era. Yes. Um, built like the proverbial tank. Now yes. tell me about this one. Uh, W124E280, so right. it's the straight six in it. Okay, now that's interesting. So this is just before they went to V6. Very, very last okay. of the W124 series. Right, okay. Uh, 1995 model. Yep. It's a two owner car, an Australian delivered car. Okay. It's done about 280,000 kilometres, so it's kind of just run in. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to kill it. No, anyway. no. Um, just, as you say, bank vault solid, build yep. quality is exemplary. Yes. Um, they were comfortable, they weren't particularly quick. No, well what is it, a 2.8? 2.8. So, yeah, it's not going to be hugely fast, it'll, but it'll do the job. Oh, it'll more than do the job, but yeah. you get in this thing and drive to Brisbane. Even today, yes. you get in this and you it get out proves. as fresh as if you'd just driven around the block. Yeah, that's true. You know, uh, now, here's the kicker. Price. Oh, well, that's the thing. I can remember when I had one in this colour, combo with the champagne and the, and, the, and the cream leather interior, I had to buy a T-valve for the air conditioner right, okay. back in 1996, $1,800. Yeah. Holy Because God. it didn't matter what temperature you put it on, it blew hot air. Okay, right? yes. Yeah. This, today, has a reserve between 5 and 10. Not for the teeth. <laughs> the whole car. I mean, it is just That's incredible value. Yeah. It really yeah. is. So here we go. 
something I don't reveal very often is I've got a real soft spot for these V8 era Have you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Particularly the wagons. Yes. Uh, because they're, they're essentially the size of an aircraft carrier. Yes. But I love the sedans too. It's just the sheer size and they're so of their, of their period. Yes. Really what appealed to me about this car is it's a project car. Right. Uh, so it's not perfect. There's a, there's a report there that tells you what, what it needs doing. And it's actually kind of a one-off. Somebody's grabbed the sedan, turned it into a pace of tribute. Right. With a 360, because the these paces never had 360. Correct. And they've made up the little stickers to turn it into a 360 pacer. It's yeah. actually quite cute. And the, yeah. the bodywork and paint actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I just yeah. had to say that. It's it's most, really it looks like most of the mechanical and underneath is where you're going to put a bit of time in. And that's the easy bit, and that's the least most expensive bit, because bodies are just so expensive to get right these Yeah, days, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's a bit to do, but I love the look of it. I yeah. like the jelly bean mags. I mean, I'm yeah. just a sucker for look from that shallow. Um, the, the V8's not going to be a problem to deal with. No. And 40 to 60. Well, you know, it's, it's up there as a start for a project car, but a solid project. Again, I reckon you'd walk away unhurt and you'd have a lot of fun putting the, you know, getting the thing up to speed again. You've got a couple of cars. Oh, yeah. One's, one's a BMW, not this one. No. Tell me about it. Okay, this one's interstate, so the auction's running in three states. Yes. And the, uh, this particular one is an M3 Coupe. A BMW, which is one of my favourite, right. possibly all-time cars to drive. Yeah. It's um, it's an M3 base, so it's a Z3 chassis, but with a hatchback rear. Okay, right. Okay, so it's a little, if you can imagine a BMW version of a Ferrari bread van, you're getting close. Yes. Okay, there are less polite names for it, but let's go with that. With a red van, <laughs> okay. yeah, I get that. Okay. And um, what you've got is this two-seater, three-door hatch with the long snout. The M3 3.2 litre 6 in it, yep. which came in a couple of different states of tune over time. Yep. But you're talking about 290 horsepower uh, to 300 horsepower, which is a lot of mumbo in a car that size. Exactly. And believe me, I drove one new, and believe me, this is as much fun as you can have with a steering wheel. Okay, right. Just seriously, it might be the fastest car out there, or even the best handling, but they are as sharp as a pack. Right. 65 to 75. That's not a lot of money. Uh, if that's that. right, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a lot of performance for the money. Yeah. I think if you've got anywhere within Cooey of that, your money would be as safe as houses, and I'd be a little surprised if over time it didn't pick up. Oh, it should do, because it's a BMW and it's a rare BMW. Yeah, and look, here's the main thing. It's a fun, fun car oh, to yeah. drive, so what the hell. Exactly. <laughs> that's what it's all about, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Right up. so... There we have it. A little bit of variety. A lot of variety. A lot of variety. In the catalogue. It's <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Um, online? Online. November 8 to 15. Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane are the showrooms we can go and see a huge collection. And, a, and can I say, an eclectic collection of cars. Absolutely. Yep.